So guys, this is the result of the co wash. Now our hair is already shrinking, as you guys can see. Oh, but this is really the result. Look at it. Look at look at this volume. Look at the the body. Like it's so hair and all this other stuff. It just kind of like shrinks and it turns into like a short afro. So guys, this is pretty much what I do on to the hair. Try as much as you can to avoid putting all these products in the store like What's up everybody? Welcome to Gifted Family TV. TV. Today, girls, can you tell everybody what we're doing? We're doing a hair video! We are doing a hair video. This is one of the most requested videos. A lot of people have asked me to do this, to a show them, time. yes, for a long time. To show them, you know, what I do to my girl's hair, how do I keep it moisturized, and you know, help with the growth and all that. And we are here to show you guys what I do. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Like and comment this video. And turn on your notification. And give it a big thumbs up. Give it a big thumbs up, guys. So we're going to get into it. As you can see, I already parted our hair into four um, parts and I twisted it. Um, the reason why I do this is because Lyle has really, like her hair is so curly. So, you know, it's easier for me because you don't really want to like comb out curves all the time because then you're going to mess up the, um, you know, the texture. So pretty much I twist it this way, as you can see, and I cold wash it. Now, guys, the reason I cold wash rather than shampoo and conditioner is because personally, I just feel like I've tried different things in the past. And I just feel like co-washing their hair works better for me than putting shampoo. I don't really know the stuff that they put in the shampoo, but I just feel like it's really good for adults. But for, for kids that, you know, their scalp is so tender and everything, you don't really want to put too much product, you know, to mess up their hair. And you don't want to like clog their um, scalp and everything and start making them have all this stuff. Anyway, so pretty much that's what I do. I co-wash their hair. Um, it really depends. I usually do it once a week, but if <laughs> if they get their hair done, maybe they have like cornrows or something and they carry that for like maybe two weeks and then they take it out and then I can usually, you know, I usually shampoo. I would just put a little bit, you know, dab here and there and then I'll use the conditioner after and then I'll use the good stuff. We're gonna get to the good stuff though because that's really, really what I put on their hair. Now, the first thing first is I part the hair into four um, parts 
as you can see and I twist it I leave it like this and then I go ahead and co-wash so far this is what I've been using to co-wash their hair for, for baby hair um the only reason why I use this though is because the product is not really that bad it's like soft it has soft texture I feel like um, you know it has honey and avocado if you guys want more information about this product please go to their website or their instagram for babies and you get more information um so anyway i use the conditioner i just put a little bit here and there on her scalp So guys, I kind of like just massage the um, conditioner, you know, I just kind of play around a little bit with our hair like this, I massage it here and there, I think I need a little bit more. So I, after I do all of that and I massage the scalp here and there, hey Lyle, how do you feel? I'm good. You feel good? Yeah. Anyway, so guys, um, I'm done massaging her scalp and kind of like just playing around with it a little bit. I just let it sit for like a minute. You know, I let the conditioner go into, you know, her scalp and all that stuff. And I also do this. Just try to make sure I get the conditioner in there as much as I can. And as you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but her curls are coming back out. Um, the reason why her hair was like actually loose before was because I combed it a little bit before I twisted it, right? But this is really, really how Lyle's hair is. It's like really super curly. It's very tight. So that's why um, unless I'm like braiding the hair or something, I don't really like using combs to like comb it out because I don't want to mess up the, the um, curls. So. I just kind of like you know just i'm very gentle with it you know so now we're ready to wash it um pretty much i use warm water all right you ready yeah. and I, i'm gonna use i'm using warm water to rinse out all the conditioner that i you know, that i put in there you want to do that as gentle as you can I pretty much hold on to like the, the twist and I just kind of like rinse it out and as I'm rinsing I'm like trying to squeeze out the water, the excess water as well. Then I just, you know, put the, you okay baby? Then I just put the, you know, I just rinse everything else out. So pretty much after that I just kind of like squeeze out all the water. Hold on. So as you guys can see, we're done. This is pretty much. So guys, this is the result of the co-wash. Now our hair is already shrinking, as you guys can see. Um, but this is really the result. As you can see, our curls are out pretty much so now I'm gonna try to dry it out a little bit more with the towel just dap it you don't want to like you know be rough with it you just dap it a little bit um, but you don't want it to be too too dry either because of the good stuff that I was talking about so yeah are you ready for the good stuff Lyle? Yeah. are you ready yeah do you think they're ready yeah you want to ask everybody are they ready everybody are you ready <laughs> <laughs> all right so now that we have our hair washed and a little bit dry we're gonna get to the next step so pretty much i already have my mixture here but i'm gonna go through the stuff that i put in it but First thing first, 
this is really just to moisturize our hair um i let it dry in after i spray it and you know it keeps her hair like soft it helps with the hair growth you know her scalp is not dry and all that good stuff right so what do i have in here right you guys really want to know okay so the most essential ingredient in this bottle is aloe vera it's the natural the the leaf i don't know is it no it's a plant aloe vera plant i'm sorry about that so pretty much i get the plants and i cut it you know into pieces i take out only the gel parts i put it in the blender and i blend it right and after it's done this is like the most thing in here is the aloe vera juice right so after i blend it and it's done then i get a couple of natural oil and i mix um them with the aloe vera juice so pretty much i have i know everybody know about black castor oil i have that here i use like two tablespoons of black castor oil i mix it with the aloe vera this pretty much what it does we all know hair growth it helps with the you know to it helps your hair grow it open up your um, scalp and help with like the new growth and everything like that it also helps to like it makes your um, scalp not too dry and all that good stuff so i use that and virgin coconut oil now my experience with coconut oil guys with tiwa my first when i used to use coconut oil for her when she was growing up i realized that if you put too much of this stuff in your hair it actually dries it out and at one point it, it could stop the growth as well so i learned that the hard way but i'm giving you guys the hint so you don't necessarily want to put too much of this in your hair because I don't know what it is about it i'm still researching when i do find out i'm gonna make another video um you know with updates to their hair and everything and then i will talk about it and give you guys because i don't want to give you guys the wrong information but one thing i definitely do know is coconut oil too much of it makes your hair dry out so i use two tablespoons of this as well i mix it with the aloe vera juice um but it also helps with like you know growth and all that stuff and then I actually just started using um I don't wanna tea tree oil. I, I hope I'm saying it right, but pretty much with this, oh my god, it has it helps it has vitamin E inside, it has a lot of minerals and all that stuff. It has aloe vera as well. Um it has this minty smell, it helps with like your scalp, it helps you know um to if you have like itchy dry scalp, this is really good. Um, so I use one tablespoon of this. I mix it with the oil as, as well. And my last two ingredients is vitamin E oil and organ oil. This also they do almost the same thing. At the end of the day, it's all for one goal: is to help open up your scalp to help the new hair growth. Right? It also helps you um have. I mean, it keeps your scalp from being dry. It stimulates your hair and make it moisturize it um your hair is not dry if you have like a curly type of hair like this it helps your curls stay intact um at the same time also um what else does it do for you guys it just always keeps their hair shiny I don't really use like you know the hair grease and all that stuff no when I use this um like once or twice every week now guys if you mix this and you use it on your child's hair and you have more left in the bottle you have to put it in the fridge why because of the aloe vera you don't want to leave it out because after a day or two it's gonna trust me you don't want to put that in your hair you don't want to put it in your child's hair it, it has this smelly it's not gonna work pretty much so you want to you know keep it in the fridge for as long as you have it as long as you put it in the fridge you'll be fine you can take it out in the morning spray it and you can do it at night i don't do it twice a day i do it once a day i mean once in a day but i do it twice a week so aside from that i don't really put any other products in my kids hair um they have good hair naturally um i think it's from the jeans i don't know but anyway so the only reason why i even use this stuff is to make sure that their hair is not dry and all that stuff but aside from that that's all that that's all i do 
I promise. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys the steps of how to spray the good stuff. We're gonna call it the good stuff, right? We're gonna spray in our hair and I'm gonna show you guys how I usually do it. So I just kind of like untwist this and I'm not gonna comb my hair either. Instead, I use my finger to like just pick it out. You know what I mean? So pretty much I start from the scalp. I spray it. So when while I'm spraying, I just kind of like use my finger to like just, you know, comb. Kind of just play around with it a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see, but our hair is already looking shiny. Our curls are like just there. And pretty much I just play around with it, you know, I just, and I go to the next twist, I untwist it. much repeat the same thing I start off from the scalp I put it all around the scalp and I just like cut cut it into little parts spray it you want to really really go for like the scalp rather than the body you know what I mean I mean you, you have to put it in the body as well but it's mainly the scalp and then you just massage it just massage 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 Pretty much as you guys you guys can see can you see how beautiful our hair look and it feels really really soft as well too so all right and then I untwist the third one and we do the same exact thing Remember guys, we're leaving this out. It's gonna dry out, um, hair dry. You don't wanna put any heat or all of that stuff in the hair. So as you untying and you spraying and everything, you just kinda like just pick it out, you know, let it sit out like this, make it into like a little fro. So I'm gonna do the last one. Can you look up for me, like the, um, Maya? Look up, look up, there you go. And as you can see guys, her hair is shrink. But this is really the length. This is how long Lila's hair is. As you guys can see, this is how long it is. So, but right now, it's looking, you know, like this because once you put water in our hair and all this other stuff, it just kind of like shrinks and it turns into like a short afro. So guys, this is pretty much what I do um, to their hair. Um, another hint though is try as much as you can to avoid putting all these products from the store. Like I use Cantu products on Tiwa at one point and it definitely didn't work out um i realized that it was too strong again you really want to limit the kind of products that you put if you if you really really want them to have the natural you know it's one thing for their hair to grow it's another thing to have a full body like this if you're looking for this kind of result you want to go for the natural product you want to go for the good stuff right i know it's a lot of work but guess what if you're not the type that can sit there to do this all the time you know make maybe one or two bottles and put it in the fridge that's really all you need to do just put it in the fridge and um 
if you're really trying to get like a fast result or all that all that good stuff you can try to do this maybe twice a day like i said i only do it once because right now we're good on you know the growth and all that but this is really what i do avoid um all the natural product uh, all the other products at the store and everything and even if you want to buy anything like like for example this product you want to read the stuff in there you want to make sure that whatever is in there is wor working it's gonna work it's not gonna you know make the hair worse you want to do your research you want to find out about it that's actually one of the things that i learned along the line is when it comes to hair products face products you want to make sure that you do research about the things that you put in in your hair your face especially kids because listen they are so tender their scalp everything is so tender but look at it look at look at this volume look at the the body like it's so it's so nice curly it's shiny and guys by tomorrow i am telling you she's gonna be walking around her hair is gonna be bouncy right like can you, can you wiggle your hair for a little bit show them show them girl yeah, yeah. so guys yeah so we're pretty much done with Lyo. now we're gonna go to tiwa i'm gonna show you the process of how i do tiwa's hair they have a little bit different texture so so guys i'm pretty much repeating the same steps that i did with Lyo with tiwa the only difference that i you know the only thing that's different with my step is pretty much with the good stuff i put a little bit more on tiwa's hair than that of Lyo because Lyo's hair is like it has this silky feel to it curly silky and tiwa's hair has like she has curls as well but they are not as tight as lion's curls and at the same time her hair feels more kinky but soft so because of that it takes a lot more of the good stuff than lion's hair needs so i do the same thing cold wash cut it into four part twist it put the conditioner massage it right let it sit for a minute rinse it with warm water and what do we do next girls and then use all the good stuff no before we use the good stuff we have to dry, dry it. it so now what we're gonna do is i already went ahead and put my conditioner and everything it's been sitting for over a minute so now we're gonna rinse the hair see you guys soon okay so pretty much guys, I just finished spraying the good stuff in the hair, as you can see. The hair was so hungry, but now we fed it with the good stuff, right guys? Yeah. And now it's looking really nice. It's, you know, soft, fluffy, and shiny. And that's really the result that we want. So again, I only do this once a day, twice a week. That's it. Um, and I get the result that I want. The hair stays moisturized, it's not dry, it helps with the growth. Tiwa's hair, her hair is longer than this is the length of Tiwa's hair. Pretty much. And as time goes on, guys, I'm gonna be showing you updates and you know the growth and everything. As you can see, this is how long her hair is right now. They both deal with shrinkage, it's shrinked right now, but pretty much this is the length. And this is the lios. Almost a little bit, but yeah. And another thing is, her hair color is actually, I believe, a number two, and Lyo is one or one B. Not sure, but well, her hair is darker than than Tiwa. So guys, again, um, this is exactly what I do for my growth, including Tiwa Tolani and Tiwa D Ray. This is the only thing that I use, guys. Try as much as you can to avoid, you know, using all these products and everything like that. You don't really want to. If you want the natural way to grow your hair, like for me now, if I want to go from this to this tomorrow, guess what I use, guys? Can you tell them what I use? The good stuff, right? The good stuff. I just spray the good stuff on my head. I massage it and do what? And then you have to let it dry. Then I let it sit and guess what? I go from here. Okay. The good stuff, guys. All natural. Your aloe vera, your 
um, vitamin E oil, your coconut oil, everything has a lot of minerals and vitamins in there that helps your hair. You can never go wrong by using all these oils and the aloe vera plant. You can never go wrong. And it's not really just for the hair. You can use it for your face, you can use it for your skin. It's It really, really works. So it's not gonna happen overnight, but if you slowly start using it, you know, putting it in your hair, doing everything that I just said, it's gonna eventually work. I can guarantee because you can never go wrong with natural products, guys. And guess what? It's do it yourself. You don't even have to spend a hundred dollars to make this happen. Get your good stuff, guys, and you're good. And girls, how do you feel right now? Can you can you do this for us? Ooh, Laya, can you do this? Can you do it? Oh, look at oh, you guys make me want to do my hair too. But guess what? I love my bald. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you guys. Thank you. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like and comment. Turn on your notification and subscribe if you haven't. Because we're gonna be back with more and more videos. You get to see our beautiful faces, right, guys? Right, guys? Yeah. Thank you, guys. We love you and take care. Bye. Bye.